would you summarize the, this edition of Mobile World Congress? But the, this edition is uh, the edition of the Internet of Things, very important, and is also the edition of the full rollout of the tokenization platform for us. Then that is very important because this uh, our product is around uh, facility of payment, uh, and now it's, it's going to be the biggest evolution of payment uh, for Visa. As well, it's going to also mark a big milestone for Visa that is going to start to open network to any type of company, and it's very, very important. This year, one of our innovation is exhibiting this uh, partnership we have with Honda. The partnership is about uh, facilitate payment for, uh, from a car directly. In this case, we have a navigation system from the car that allows the driver to find immediately the closest petrol station. Actually, the sign is going to be connected from the tank. Then the tank is saying, I need petrol then these are the closest petrol station. It will be driven to the closest petrol station. At the petrol station, you can select how much petrol they want to fit into the car, getting the price in real time, identify which one is the pump, and at the same time, he's going to receive offer from the shop or the petrol station in case he wants to purchase some type of additional goods like a grocery. The beauty of things is that all this selection is entirely done from the seat of the car. It's going to perform the payment using the Visa Checkout application. Then no credit card number or debit card number are in the car, are all stored into the cloud. And then the guy from the shop is going to just deliver the goods next to his car. And this is the, the, the way of facilitating the payment for petrol. It seems that connected car segment is uh, the best uh, developed from the IoT perspective, as we can see in the entire era. Yeah. yeah, there is loads of stuff. This year uh, I've noticed that there are loads of cars around, loads of stuff. Automotive industry is going to really be a turning factor because we do more and more things around inside our car, inside our vehicle. As well, we are purchasing products and the Visa is around uh, facilitating the payments. We saw also a connected bus station and an M NFC uh, possibility, so you can uh, buy your ticket directly yes, from yes. the connected uh, uh, bus the station. Connected device, yeah. Yes, exactly. I mean, we have one of the most important implementation worldwide level, which is the transport for London, and is the beauty of the possibility to be able to enter into the metro with uh, uh, any card. There can be perfectly a Romanian Visa contactless card. Enter into the metro, do the various stop, change also on the bus, and at the end of the day not being worried about speaking English, not being worried about buying an oyster because the world system will calculate the best fare for, uh, for the day. Uh, this is uh, what really is a value as a convenience for the consumer. In reality this is all about, all about our tokenization platform. Our tokenization platform is uh, acting, Visa acting as a hub to facilitate payment with different type of player. The world is moving and is getting more and more open. There is not anymore sufficient to have only the bank connected because there are loads of partners that want to allow payment in a smoothed way. Then we offer the possibility to enter into our Visa platform thanks to the Visa Digital Enablement Program. In this case, uh, players like Apple, like uh, Google, like Samsung, uh, like uh, Facebook, uh, in this case even like Honda, like, they don't need to be only a player on the, on, the, on the technology arena, they can perfectly be a car maker. They can help uh, doing the payment uh, by connecting to our tokenization platform where we have all our thousands of banks worldwide uh, performing payment every day with us. Um, what is the percentage of the mobile segment in Visa? The percentage of mobile segment is growing. For us, we are expecting that by 2020, 50% of the transaction made in Europe will be originated by mobile device. But what is more and more important this year is about the data we get from Internet of Things. Because in reality, what we see in this car is a connected device. And this is a device that is performing a payment. You have to think that today, worldwide, there are more than 6 billion connected devices. Last year were 5.3 possibly, was around 30% less, then the increase is dramatic. By 2020, we are going to have 20 billion devices. Now, all these devices, they are controlled by human, but all of them, they need to make payment between them. It may be a fridge, it may be a, a washing machine in order to buy supply and so on. Then what happens is the amount of payment, the transaction will expo explode dramatically. Visa needs to offer facility of making this payment and security. The facility and security is done through our VDEP and the security is through our token platform. How do you see from now on uh, your role between the banks and the mobile operators who are uh, fighting to get more clients, both of them? 
No, I mean, our role is going to be just uh, being a facilitator and make sure we're going to maintain uh, a facility of payment. That is the most important. Then uh, any type of commercial relationship between operator and bank or between third party for different areas that they are not related to the transactional, that is going to be entirely within them. Today, for example, uh, an issuer bank that want to start to launch a program, a new use case, they just need to use a Visa product, they have access to all our partners. If they want to have a specific uh, contract, a specific commercial agreement uh, for different areas that are not related to the transaction processing, that they can do on their own. How do you perceive the evolution of uh, NFC, QR codes and all these things that started but like the, they don't have still the big momentum? Yeah. It's growing, it's growing a lot. Eh? Okay, that's very important. Uh, just to give an idea, a couple of years ago we had one out of 25 transactions in UK that were made by Contentless. Today we have one out of seven transactions in the UK is made by Contentless. Then UK has been a market more mature, thanks also to the transport for London, but you can expect uh, everywhere in Europe, including Romania, numbers to grow dramatically in the next years. Then NFC is happening, but at the same time we don't want to be focused only on one interface. NFC is a natural evolution from chip for us any type of interface has to be ready today in our stand we also have a QR code QR code is a possibility to have two POS uh, just uh, acting as a two mobile phone acting as a POS uh, to be able to exchange money between between people we also have a lot of stuff about wearable wearable is a very interesting thing we have a jacket where you can have an embedded chip to be able to pay and to open the gate and you can have a different type of wearable for all time of your day. You may have a silicon one, you can have a leather one, more luxury, and you can all manage the amount of money and the way you're going to top up the money in a single wearable. This is very important because people start to wish to have the freedom to be able to use payment in the most convenient way, which is not going to be by taking out a car from the wallet. What other solution are you exhibiting here? We see something for bakery, what else? Yeah, this is a sort of bakery shop, but it's about a generic shop. Then we, are, we are presenting Apple Pay, Android Pay and Samsung Pay, which are already live. And then we have some authentication, which is more as proof of concept, is around uh, uh, biometrics recognition, uh, which is done with the palm of hands. So then you will be able to, to see exactly the way I would register a palm with an with a, with a individual and with a card, and you will be able to just swipe the palm of hands hand, even literally three fingers, is going to detect exactly the person. How do you see the evolution of Apple Pay because it started uh, last year? Apple uh, Pay is, is live in the UK also, as well as the United States. Uh, we see, we see volume, uh, we cannot comment on this, but uh, uh, definitely we, we can clearly say that Apple Pay is a success. Yeah. Any, any intention to extend it because the other of countries... will extend, but that is dependent from Apple because if Apple uh, is Apple deciding their own strategy, then we are providing the service for, um, for payment. Then it's going to be up to Apple to decide exactly the strategy to the market. Uh, lots of things will happen also this year. Good luck here. Thank you very much. Okay.